Hey everybody, Michelle with Michelle's for Living here. Thanks for watching my videos and it's Saturday morning, uh, August the 15th of 2020. I thought I'd show you my garden and I'm going to go down to the farmer's market. So we'll see what we got. Just do a little chat with you guys. Um, yeah, so here's my tomato plants. I didn't move the gate out of the way <laughs> this time, but um, yeah, my man said this bird had gotten, a cardinal had gotten in this in the cage like two different days in a row this week and was fluttering around and ate the tomato down there and stuff so but um i've got quite a bit of red tomatoes and um i took some made some salsa with it so i think i'll get these off and be making some more salsa and i got some more there's a bell pepper coming and got another jalapeno i'll use my jalapenos in the salsa too and some onion and um yeah, and the cherry tomatoes are very, very prolific there. We picked them yesterday. We probably got like half a gallon of cherry tomatoes off of there. So, anyways, uh, yeah, let's go to the farmer's market now. Okay, here we are at the Jeffersonville Farmer's Market. And we've got quite a good crowd here. Of course, I'm wearing my face mask. You know we're outside. Okay, I'll show you what I got, but I wanted to show off my strawberry mask that I'm wearing today. I love strawberries, and um, yeah, that's probably my favorite mask. Anyways, I got a little fogged up. Okay, um, yeah, I wear my mask. I think they require it here, but there were quite a few people this time walking around without their mask on. Okay. So I spent $9 and I got a very large amount of stuff. So um, these peppers were um, 25 cents a piece. So these are like jalapenos, I guess he said. that They're just black and just some mild peppers. And I got a quarter pound of kale, which he had three different varieties of kale, which I've never had anything other than this curly leaf stuff. But um, anyways, that was like $4 a pound and I only got like a quarter pound because I would get too much kale and it goes bad because they, they stuff these bags and that's a lot so um i got this cabbage for two dollars this is a stinking big cabbage i mean that's that was a, probably the best deal i got and um i got these um squashes um they were a dollar a piece that was a good deal on those and um i got two peppers for a dollar um, because my pepper, my one <laughs> bell pepper plant is not giving me enough bell peppers. Um, and I got these for a dollar for two squashes. And I got two cucumbers, uh, for a dollar. So, that was, um, that was quite a good haul. I got a lot of stuff. I, they had corn. People, everybody was selling corn for, um, five dollars for 12 ears. And, um, but really don't eat corn that much. I asked my man if he wanted some and... He was, um, he said he didn't feel like he needed any corn. So, yeah, because on keto and doing the whole low-carb corn is like really, it's just all starch. So, um, but anyways, uh, yeah, let's go over to the other farmer's market over in New Albany and see what they have. Yeah, there used to be so many more vendors here, um, but with the COVID, I guess they keep people spread out a little bit more. So, but I mean, this used to be really huge and they had more people than over at the uh, one in Jeffersonville that I was just at, but it seems like Jeffersonville's got more people than this, but they got a lot more space to spread out over there at the park. All right, so, um, I ended up finding lots of things. Um, I'm gonna have to be doing some uh, fermenting and pickling or just making stuff now because <laughs> of what I got, which I was planning on doing anyway. So um, probably see some more uh, cooking videos from me coming up um, if I can get this together. So I spent $17 um, this time. So I got some green beans and they were like $2 a pound. So I'll do some, cook up the, some of those for dinner probably. And then look at these monster bell peppers. I got two for a dollar. So same price as those other ones I got, but much larger. And um, I paid too much for these yellow tomatoes. Um, um, but I got them anyways. They were like 
two dollars or something and um tomatoes are deceptively heavy like um when you get them so i got a couple of garlics um these were a dollar for those two and um, i thought i'd do some fermented uh cucumbers so i got these uh, little pickling cucumbers nobody had any of those over at the other place so um i think this, this whole bag was two dollars i think and um and then i got these um she said they were lemon peppers so i don't know um I think it was two dollars for that bag. Here's something I've never bought before, but I've always wanted to. Some tomatillos, so I got two dollars for this bag of tomatillos because um, I like tomatillo sauce, and um, I've always wanted to try some. So I'm going to see if I can find a um, how to ferment um, tomatillos properly, and um, or I might just make some sauce like salsa or something, you know, that kind of sauce. Um, and I got this squash. I do like these kind of squash. I just um, cut it in half and put them on a cookie sheet and bake them in the oven. So, and then just eat it. So I'll do that. And um, and then I got um, somebody's noisy. A couple of pounds of onions, um, and they were a dollar a pound. And I needed some onions, so I got that. So this guy is parked right here by me so okay anyways um yeah i got a lot of food today and um i don't know it's it's just it's just so much a different feeling going to the farmer's market um during this pandemic and everything not just because of wearing masks and stuff like that but i did notice that um because i haven't been it's been well whenever i made a video last about i don't know at least a month ago i've just been uh so busy on saturdays that i haven't um had a chance to get to the farmer's market and everything and um but since i was here last i've noticed people are a lot politer and um creating lines and they're like it, because before people used to just go up and stand around and grab things and put money to the person you know and and stuff and and everything and now there's these lines and then all of a sudden i realized like I'm cutting in in front of these people. I didn't even realize I was doing it, I guess. But um, anyway, so I was like, I stepped back because I realized there's like this, these 10 person deep line back here. And then this lady in front of me, she's like chit chatting about the recipe she used for when she, last time she bought potatoes from this guy and, and she came back to get more potatoes and everything. And it's like, you know, Normally, a lot of times I used to just, you know, I just go up, pick up what I want. I knew they had the price there, $2. I hand them $2 and they can keep chatting with the person. But now I can't do that, you know. It's like, so it's this whole thing. Um, but, you know, age of the pandemic. I, I was deciding today that um, quite possibly something that will come out of this uh, pandemic is that people um, learn patience and um, politeness, right? Um just just the way it is so anyways yeah so um i think that's all for today and i'm i'll um like i said i'll i'm sure i'll bring you some more cooking videos with all this stuff that i got because if i was just going to eat all try to eat this all like just regular like salads and whatnot it would it would go to waste a lot of it would because between me and my man that's a lot so a lot of food that i got today but like i said i want to do some um some fermenting and some uh canning maybe um we'll see anyways yeah thanks for watching